a little update that just got me finished as far as unloading me. I just paid the lumper, so now I'm just waiting on my paperwork, which I hope that don't take a whole another hour or two. I'm trying to hurry up and get up out of here and get home, because I ain't had no real sleep. I legit drove all night just to get here, so at this point, I'm just ready to go and lay down. But I've been here since, like, let's 5 5.50 this morning so that ain't bad to say that I'm late but you already know driving through Atlanta really did did a number on me at what 9 10 o'clock last night and then not only that but also when I was leaving Sparta yeah, Sparta, Tennessee. It was raining hard, so that also slowed me down a lot too. But anywho, um, I will. This will be my last load for. Oh, <coughs> my first load for this week. Well, next week, because technically. It's Saturday, so this will be my new start. But as of right, <coughs> excuse me, as of right now, uh, that's all I got for y'all. So I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Peace. Um. With y'all again, um, I'm over here at my pickup at EFW in Savannah. Um, had to end up taking off a day, wasn't feeling the best um, on yesterday, which was Monday. So back at it Tuesday. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep pushing and go ahead and uh, get the rest of this week rolling pretty good. Uh, load I'm picking up. Ain't nothing but like 10,000 pounds, which is by far the lightest I had. I ain't going to complain because, I mean, the less I got to actually be rolling this joker, well, with, you know, enough weight, the easier it's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this trailer. Well, I'm go ahead and stop. A little bit down the road and uh, go ahead and shut down a little bit. Well, fairly, I guess you could say, just because it is a good bit of traffic out today. And uh, realistically, don't feel like driving with a lot of cars and traffic around today, just not really feeling it. But uh, anywho, try to get myself back up kind of early in the morning finish off this run and uh try to do it like that because i already know once i get done with this run um at least i'll be able to pick up one more and see what that will take me to then after that i'll try to do at least another up and back down because I don't know. That cold really put it on me last week, so I just, just kind of in my mood of I want to go home so I can actually try to fully get shake this thing up off me. Uh, but anywho, uh, low pain is the usual price. So it's like twelve fifty. So not too, not mad about it at all because. Hey, I'd rather do something that I know is easily going to give me, you know, an idea of where I'm headed to. But, anywho, let me go ahead and finish up my paperwork real quick and uh, go ahead and shut this puppy down once I get down the road a piece. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow.
what's going on? I'm back with you. Um, right now, I'm at my pickup. Uh, I forgot to shoot my clip last night. Uh, my drop off uh, once I had arrived there. Um, but of course, yet again, same load I do every week, or at least several times a week, shall I say. But it was actually the lightest version of that load I've done, which I ain't gonna lie. Loved it. We'll do it again. Um, Cause, of course, lighter means less I gotta spend on fuel, which means the more revenue I get to bring in. So, as of right now, um, just because the way that things kind of transpired this week, um, I'm only probably gross at forty-four hundred dollars for this week just because I would not have enough time to make it back up here to um, Tennessee or even Kentucky tomorrow. So as of right now, I'm on the gross out after this load at 4471, I believe it is. And that's before the cut, of course. So not the best week, but I mean, hey, I end up starting back technically yesterday when I should have driven all day yesterday got up here to Kentucky after driving all night I mean not Kentucky but Tennessee should have dropped that load picked up another one been back in Savannah right now and then should have been back on my way back up here at worst tomorrow but I mean it is what it is for three loads so I ain't really going to sit and complain because that still ain't bad. Um, at least for kind of the things that happened with me this week, which I go into a little bit more in depth on my next clip um, at the delivery for this load. But anywho, I'm up here in Clarksville, Tennessee right now uh, at a place called Shenhung Global USA Inc. or SGUH, I mean SGUH, SGUS, my bad. Um, but anywho, uh, when you walk, well, when you arrive here, um, your GPS will just drop you in the middle of the road. It'll be right across the street from a warehouse that's that has outside docks. It'll be on your left-hand side um, for the building you want to go to if you do come here. But anywho, um, what you'll do is there's a front door. You walk straight in. The front door is, has two glass open, well, glass opening doors. Uh, you just walk through there and um, go to the office that is on your left-hand side once you walk in the building. Unless you see somebody standing off to the right inside the warehouse that's uh, available to help you out but other than that um because you might run into the issue of running into somebody who doesn't speak english which is a bad thing only thing about that is if you don't speak another language which from what i take they speak some form of korean i want to say don't don't get me wrong if, if they do they do <laughs> i'm just saying that at least that's the characters um the guy showed me on his phone to try to translate everything so he can help me out but uh anywho he wasn't really able to help me out which is all right but um well, i did actually find somebody to help me out it was pretty cool um so i will let y'all know if y'all are able to get here before 12 o'clock central time do it um because if you do like i just did got here at 12 o'clock they uh said hey we're going on we're going on lunch which i mean it's fine with me because i got hours i got time to kind of mess with it so it ain't like it's a big rush for me but it's cool um so which I mean, it's fine with me because my appointment was technically full. 
on the clock this afternoon anyway, so I mean it works out. But uh, this load is supposed to be paying like thirteen fifty um, before the cut, so realistically, like probably nine and some change after the cut. If even that, it might be more. Um, plus, I got a factor in what I just spent on fuel and death. Um, I just went ahead and filled the truck up because I ain't know exactly how heavy this load was. Because when I looked at the rate con, uh, when, I received it, when I received it from the broker, they said it was 44000 But, of course, I don't like playing around and trying to figure something out. Plus, as much as gas, well, fuel is right now, um, all the way back to um, Savannah. I'd rather go ahead and just get it while I can find the cheapest on what, because the cheaper I can find it, the better. So, anywho, um, I don't quite know what I'm gonna pick up yet, because I might have to wait till I get the paperwork to actually see. But once uh, I get all that, I will either let y'all know that right then and there, or either I just let y'all know at the deliver, or a little bit later once I'm shut down for the night. But that's all I got for you. I'll let y'all later.